honestly, shopping for Millie Meadow is kind of like shopping for myself where I'm like, oh, I shouldn't, like I shouldn't just go spend, you know, with like a wholesale where it's like hundreds of dollars on these items because I think they're adorable. But I mean, that's kind of the business. I love my job. <laughs> Hello, my name is Elise. I am the owner of Elise Brand Design as well as the storefront Melon Meadow. My brand Elise Brand Design is all of my artwork printed on a variety of different products and I stock them all here in the store as well as some items that we curate from other awesome brands that we love and believe in. So I am super excited with how our storefront has come together over the past year and a half. We opened in 2022 and it's been kind of a constant state of change here which is really fun. We like to keep it fresh and exciting and we just redid the store for springtime as well as brought in a bunch of new brands brands because we were able to go to the Atlanta gift show which is a trade show where we could see all of the other brands that are out there and what they have to offer and we brought some into our store as a result of that show and so I'm excited to give you a tour of the whole shop as well as show you all of the new things that we're introducing. So we just redid our front table and we put out a lot of the new brands that we're stocking. I'm pretty excited about how it all turned out. We did a little bit of a spring Mother's Day display and a couple of the new brands that are super fun are Piecework Puzzles. They have these really gorgeous like intricate um, photography that they've made into puzzles. Thought this color was also perfect on the front table. <laughs> and I'm super excited about Jollity & Co. So actually this brand is one that we were directly across from at the San Francisco trade show last year. They do a lot of party supplies, so it's um, paper plates, napkins, things like that. And I was staring at them and they're all in rainbow order and there's like just a ton of designs, so gorgeous. And so when I saw them in Atlanta, I was like, I can't resist you guys twice. Like the first time, I was like, okay, just don't think about it, look away. But then when I ran into them again, I was like, it's over, this is going in Mill and Meadow. So we'll see how they do, but I thought these designs were just too cute. And they matched uh, another new brand that we brought into the shop recently, which is Camp uh, Cocktails, Camp Craft Cocktails. And if you can see their logos in the background of their label up here, and it's kind of like a palm leaf, which is really reminiscent of the Jollity & Co napkins and plates. So I was like, they're gonna be best friends. They're gonna sit up to each other on the shelf. They're gonna be beautiful. Um, and since we had more cocktail items, I felt like we really needed napkins. And we did get a couple of requests for that in the store over the past year. And I thought, okay, now is the time. We're bringing her in. Very excited about that. Another new show item is Green Bubble Gorgeous. And when they say gorgeous, they really do mean it because these bath bombs are just freaking adorable. Like, um, I think Lauren and Jordan found these together when they were exploring the rest of the show in Atlanta. And they were like, you have to come down here and see it. At the time I was recovering from COVID so I couldn't really smell or taste anything. <laughs> and especially couldn't through the masks. So I was like, you know what, I trust you guys. Just tell me what smells good. And now that I'm actually smelling them, having them in person and being fully recovered, I'm like, that was the right choice for sure. We also got these really cute soaps from them. And I've been wanting to add soap to Melon Meadow but was waiting to find the right brand. So once we found them, I said, it is time. The wait is over. I cannot resist any longer. <laughs> because honestly, shopping for Millen Meadow is kind of like shopping for myself where I'm like, oh, I shouldn't, like I shouldn't just go spend, you know, with like a wholesale where it's like hundreds of dollars on these items because I think they're adorable. But I mean, that's kind of the business. This is kind of just like, the whole point is to be adorable. So I love my job. <laughs> Another new thing that we got were a couple of new colorways and product types from brands we already love. So up here we have Idlewild Floral Co. and they're all dried flowers that I'm obsessed with. I think they're just amazingly beautiful and I love the colors. And then we have our Candier candles and we got some Mother's Day ones to pair with our Mother's Day cards that are in the front here. Over here we have Modern Sprout 
I just, I love all of their items. We did see some of their new products at the trade show that hopefully we'll be able to introduce at some point, but they also added a couple of new seed pops that I'm super excited about. And so we have Bee Songbird and Butterfly in the back there. And then we're about to, um, put on our shelves their new strawberry and carrots seed pops. So I think that'll be really cute and fun too and make this whole display really fun. And we also have, we've had cosmic seed kits for a while, which are related to the different zodiac signs, but we also added, and I'll take you to the other side of the store, new zodiac stuff that I am psyched about. So something else that's new here is these little mugs they are different zodiac signs with all of this gorgeous gold plating they're not my designs um but i'm glad that i found them because i think they really executed the zodiac signs super well so this was a really fun find and again i just love the gold and the white i feel like it fits mill and meadows aesthetic perfectly and like you can see on my tea towels like that's the packaging that we have for at least brand design so it was a natural fit here and I'm trying to expand into more Zodiac items because everybody in the office is big into astrology. And I love that we have like that kind of like shared um, interest in the office. And so it's really fun to translate that into Mill and Meadow as well. And then continuing with our new Zodiac stuff, we have every sign from our favorite candle brand, which is Botanica. I guess I shouldn't pick favorites, but the smells on these are just like perfection. Um, so they all are different scents based on the zodiac signs, and I love how they're so colorful on our shelves. And then we have our super cute little zodiac keychains that we added from uh, Have a Nice Day. And I've actually been following her on Instagram for a long time, so I'm excited to support her business. But I just love all of the like tortoise shell looks that we have. And there's a bunch of different colors for each zodiac sign. They've been selling so well that we need to restock already. So we only have a couple left, but I think they're just really adorable and a fun addition to all of the zodiac items we have here. So this is almost the same story as Jollity & Co, funny enough, but we introduced Apple La Papa, which is a really fun brand. They're based in South America, and um, we added them because we were staring at all of these freaking adorable little pots and planters for the entire Atlanta show. It's about six days long, so that's a long time to try and not like want to purchase a million of these, and of course, we couldn't resist so now we have all of these adorable animal planters that i'm obsessed with another fun addition to the store that i'm very excited about are the wordsworth editions of some of these classic books and i'm gonna be honest i judge these books by their covers that's why they're here um but i mean i think you can't really argue with them they're so beautiful like we just needed to have them here and it seems like a lot of people feel the same way about having them on their shelves because we already sold out of all of them. We had Anne of Green Gables, but she's all, all sold and we can't get any more to restock at the moment. So we are on our second run of these already. And I think I'm gonna get even more. There's only five different types of books that they have. Um, so I'm hoping they expand their line because people seem to be really responding to them here in Mill and Meadow and a couple people bought them through Shop Mill and Meadow online too. So overall, I feel like these are a great fit for Mill and Meadow and the brand as a whole. We revamped the whole back bookshelf area to accommodate all of our new brands. So you can see here is the full assortment of Camp Craft cocktails. There are lots of options and actually we already need to restock the old fashioned. So I'm glad those are doing well. We added on a new Big Heart Tea Co. Um, tea flavor because I realized that their chai, which I'm a big chai fan, is caffeine free, but they also have farmer's chai, which does have caffeine in it. So I'm super excited that like they have both of those options as a big um, tea person and also someone who likes to watch how much caffeine I'm consuming. So I'm excited for that. Up here we have the rest of the Green Bubble Gorgeous soaps and you can see they have a really fun looks at the top of the soap and each one is different so 
really love how those look together and they smell amazing. And then we have over here all the bath bombs from them. My personal favorite is the champagne bottle. I think it's adorable. And I mean, excluding these because I, I think these are probably all my favorite, but I love the geode ones. I think they're just so dynamic and sparkly and pretty. And I'm excited that Jordan found this cool apothecary jar to display them in. So that's super exciting too. Up here we have our best-selling bookshelf board games. So I love these. We actually saw them at the trade show and we saw a couple of the new games that they have on pre-order. So I already ordered them. I'm just waiting for them to be in stock and ship to us. But in addition to all of these games, they just introduced Battleship, which is going to be in a little bit of a darker red than this category. So that'll look nice in the rainbow on that side. And then they have Trivial Pursuit them go on the side of Monopoly. So I think that's going to be really fun to see on the shelf. And I love both of those games, so I'm glad they have them as additions. And then over here, you can see there's a couple more of our piecework puzzle games. Personal favorite is Champagne Problems. And I think something I'm going to do, because it fits so naturally with my personal interests, is to do in the summertime when the Eras Tour is really starting to kick back into full gear. I think I'm going to do a whole display of Taylor Swift inspired items because Champagne Problems will fit perfectly there. And then I have all of my Rainbow Garden collection is based on her 2021 Grammys dress, which I've talked about before, but I will never shut up about it in case you want um so I think that's gonna be a really fun display and we have a couple other Taylor Swift inspired items coming too so I'm looking forward to that one for sure the rest of the Jollity and Co stuff is laid out here but a couple things I really need to highlight are I'm a big fan of <laughs> wine is my favorite four-letter word cocktail napkins and then again this design is just so pretty from them I couldn't resist but also how cute are each of these. We had them for Valentine's Day, but this is a set of party napkins and this is a set of plates that has four different designs in it. And I just think they're really fun and on trend and remind me of the coloring book I'm working on right now. Um, so these really have my heart at the moment, pun intended. And then here we revamped our peg wall. So we had um, just wristlets and wallets up here before and lanyards, but we added on all of our luggage tag and passport covers. So I'm super happy to see them all lined up here with all of their matching wristlet friends. Just think that's really cute and fun. And I love like a rainbow display. I love that all the products match. That's like my whole existence is just going for this vibe so this is literally like dopamine overload for me luggage tags are here they have been a really good seller so far in store and online so i feel very relieved about that and then we have their matching passport covers down here too so i'm happy with how this little display turned out really love all of these together and then our other new ebd items in the store are the magnetic bookmarks that we just released have been a hit and are super popular with moms. So if you're looking for your Mother's Day gift, I recommend these. And we just added our Mother's Day cards to the store again. So they are back for the season. Um, these are just a couple of my favorites and I like how these color schemes go together. But Mother's Day brunch, by far my favorite Mother's Day card design I have. And I feel like these two will just be like the perfect match. So I already gave these to my mom, unfortunately. Otherwise, this is what she would be getting for Mother's Day. Um, but you know what? There's your inspo. So I love all of the new additions in store. I feel like it has just really enhanced the shopping experience here. And I'm excited in the next few months to ramp it up even more, um, get in some new displays, and kind of keep the store ever changing. So. I'll probably do another one of these updates in a few months, so look out for it. But thank you for joining me on this tour of the Mill and Meadow. I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. Let me know if there's anything you think is missing from the store so that we can add it for next time.